as an example, for instance, for electronic vehicles and electronic vehicle batteries, um, China is becoming, or Chinese companies are becoming the biggest single producers of electronic uh, vehicle batteries in Europe uh, just in the last few years um, and, and supplying all the major car companies in Europe, French and German and others. Um, with those kinds of, of uh, implements. So again, it's, uh, I think that there are many um, uh, initiatives that want to bar China's uh, access to technologies or development of new technologies. And frankly, uh, none of them seem to be doing, having much of an effect except to stimulate more creativity, more innovation among Chinese researchers and companies. And the result is, I think, uh, a kind of impetus, whereas uh, other economies, perhaps the U.S. and others, are sort of basically trying to bar access uh, rather than develop the future. Uh, China is doing quite the opposite and succeeding quite well at that. And I think that in terms of the, um, you know, we, it's very nice to have electronic vehicles that are generated or, or are run by electricity. If they're burning oil, it's not too useful. Um, so. Again, I think there's the shift away from uh, the uh, carbon uh, fired sources of energy is something that China is also going to lead. Uh, it's going to be very difficult because China is very dependent, has been very dependent. It's, it's been driven by coal and, and other uh, carbon uh, based resources. Uh, but again, what you can see is uh, very quick uh, adaptation and shifting towards uh, better means of uh, Treating the planet, and I think that uh, if if only for political reasons, in all countries, leaders are being driven in that direction. And I would say that's also true in China. And but in China, the results are much more impressive than we're seeing in many other places.